Hi, I'm Eric Vanman, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to William James, one of the most important figures in the history of psychology. James was a brilliant thinker who significantly contributed to our understanding of the mind, consciousness, and human behavior. His observations about psychology, which were made more than 130 years ago, are so brilliant that I've often asked myself, what have we discovered about the human mind that James didn't already know about back then? Besides a few pretty MRI pictures of the brain, would he understand a modern psychology textbook? In this video, I want to whet your appetite about James to tell you nine amazing observations he made back in his life that we now readily accept in psychology. This will be the first in a short series of videos about William James in which I hope to convince you that he was the Albert Einstein of psychology. First, let's cover some basic facts about his life to give you some context. James was born in New York City in 1842. He was the son of Henry James Sr., a prominent theologian and philosopher, and Mary Walsh James. He had two brothers, one of whom became the famous novelist Henry James, and a young sister. James was a gifted student and he attended Harvard University where he studied medicine, chemistry, and physiology. After graduating from Harvard, James traveled to Europe to study with some of the leading psychologists of the day. James began teaching psychology at Harvard when he returned to the United States. He was one of the first psychology professors in the United States and he helped shape the discipline of psychology as we know it today. James's most famous work is The Principles of Psychology at about a thousand pages and published in 1890. This book is considered one of the most important works in the history of psychology. In The Principles, James laid out his theory of the mind, which emphasized the importance of experience and the role of the individual in shaping reality. In addition to his work on psychology, James was also a philosopher. He was a leading figure in the pragmatist movement, which emphasized the practical consequences of our beliefs. James argued that the truth of a belief is not determined by its correspondence to reality, but rather by its usefulness. So now let's dive into nine notable instances where James's observations were validated by subsequent research in psychology. First, there's the stream of consciousness. James proposed the concept of the stream of consciousness, wherein he described consciousness as a continuous flowing process rather than a sequence of separate ideas or events. This perspective found significant resonance in the 20th and 21st centuries within the realms of cognitive psychology and neuroscience, which increasingly view cognition as a fluid, ongoing process. Secondly, it's functionalism. James's functionalist approach to psychology suggested that mental processes have evolved through natural selection due to their usefulness in helping organisms adapt to their environment. This principle underpins modern evolutionary psychology, which investigates how human mental and psychological traits might have evolved due to natural selection pressures. Third, emotion. The James Longa theory of emotion proposed by James and the physiologist Carl Longa posits that emotions are a result of physiological responses to stimuli. This theory has found substantial support in neuroscience and psychophysiology research, which link emotional experiences to physiological responses like changes in heart rate or hormone levels. Then there's the self. James's conceptualization of the self as comprised of the I, the knower, and the me, the known, prefigured the modern distinction between the experiencing self and the narrative self, a foundational principle in modern identity and self-concept research. Pragmatism. Pragmatism was this philosophical movement co-founded by James and it argued that ideas must be evaluated by their practical consequences. This perspective is now reflected in applied psychology fields such as behavioral and cognitive behavioral therapies, where the emphasis is on the effectiveness of techniques in producing change. Habit formation. James's assertions about the crucial role of habit in shaping behavior align with contemporary understanding of neuroplasticity and how repeated behaviors reinforce neural pathways, shaping our habits and behaviors over time. The mind-body connection. Long before the advent of psychoneuroimmunology or health psychology, James acknowledged the importance of the interaction between the mind and the body. Today, the connection between mental and physical health 
is a cornerstone of holistic wellness practices. Then there's free will. James defended the notion of free will, positing that humans can exercise control over their actions. This is reflected in contemporary concepts like self-efficacy and locus of control, which emphasize the role of personal agency in behavior and outcomes. Educational psychology. James's lecture series called Talks to Teachers set the groundwork for educational psychology. His ideas about attention, memory, and the impact of emotions on learning are embedded in contemporary teaching methods and educational policy. In conclusion, I think you can see how William James's profound insights into human cognition, emotion, and behavior have proven remarkably prescient, finding empirical support and further development in the subsequent centuries. His pioneering work laid a robust foundation for the evolution of psychological science, making him one of the most influential figures in the field. In future videos, I will explore how William James came to write The Principles of Psychology, how he dabbled in studies of the paranormal, how he was interested in the psychology of religion, and so much more. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you might want to do so now. And also, please don't forget to hit the like button so that YouTube will show this video to other people. Finally, if you have any questions about this video or suggestions about other videos I should make, please leave a comment below. I always try to reply to everyone who comments. So thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious.